Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're going to look at the Artificial Island 1.5 Tower Fantasy update. The new one is going to come out on September 15, so in 10 days from now. First we're going to look at the trailer and then we're going to look more into the, the zone and what what's new. Alright, so the first thing that we saw here, besides the, the, the island itself with different region, different parts, it's not too big, but it's not too small either, by the way. This island is gonna have everything that the normal wards has. So, like, gold nucleus, black nucleus, red nucleus, black crystals, scenic points, and um, teleporters here and there, right? I think it's gonna be like 11 or 12 teleporters, like, so it's kind of big. It's not, the, it's not the same as, like, a word, but still. Uh, okay, so let's go check here. The first thing that we need that we see is the interdimensional frost fire dragon So this guy here. It's a world boss It's most likely gonna be a minimum level 60 boss if not higher since we're already 60 today if you're if you're grinding or something uh, So yeah, so this is gonna be the world boss of the zone itself it's probably level 60 and then we have different zones and then we saw something here wait no here let me mute it all right here we saw that they're killing monsters right it's normal but in this island killing monsters will give you some special materials that you can use to build the different facilities in your home zone which is going to be basically a personal home space where you can be you're alone in there but you can invite friends and in this personal zone you can build different facilities that they will uh, extract, generate, or craft different type of materials. There is going to be a shop where you can buy weapon augmentation box, joint supply chips, cosmetic stuff like avatar, avatar frame, chat bubbles, and, and more stuff. All right. So after that, in your home zone, you have a command center. And every other facilities refer to the command center's level. So the max level, I believe it's nine. And you need to upgrade your command center to be higher than the other facilities or, or the same level because the normal facilities cannot be higher than the command center's level. So you want to level up your command center as much as possible so you can upgrade the others as well, right? Some of them, uh, some some of the facilities do interesting things like crafting SSR matrices and maybe more stuff that it's SSR, we don't know yet. But it's going to be really nice to be able to craft something that we need, like king matrices or like shiro matrices. So that's really good. And we're going to have something to do, let's say, in, in the place. Let's go check... The, the actual zone, so you can have a, a better idea. This is one of the facilities. You see, they're farming food, like ingredients or something. And there's going to be like li little monsters that help you. Like in different facilities, there's going to be different monsters doing stuff. Probably gathering and crafting and generating materials. The, it looks like they're, they're fishing or they're doing something with, with the water. Looks like they're fishing because they also have... A backpack to put the fish in probably then we have this one the, the robo cats are like extracting the uh, the rock cores this is probably the command center not sure but if I had to guess this this would be the command center and this one they're probably gathering something in in, in the and on the on the grass or something like that I don't know uh, but yeah so it's gonna look like this how to unlock 
how to unlock the artificial island because we talk about everything else but we don't know how to unlock it good, there are going to be some re requirements first of all you need to be higher than level 55 you need to be done with the quest the main story quest uh, the reason why is uh, actually i think it's chapter two to like you need to complete chapter two at least because it's gonna unlock a special ship that you, do, that you otherwise would not have that is gonna bring you to the artificial island so, but if you don't do the quest the ship is not gonna it's not gonna be there so you need to be higher than level 55 complete chapter two but mm, to be to be more safe complete all the story so you, you you're ready you're ready to go no matter what I, I think you need to be level 60 for the ward boss, so if you want to come in and be able to do the ward boss straight away, you should be level 60 in my opinion. But other than that, I don't think there is much there, there is much more to do. Uh, maybe it's going to be like, have some exploration in the zone, on in the, um, in the first zone, but I don't think it will matter too much. Just play the game and you will be able to... At this point, if you play the game for like at least two or three weeks, you will you will be at this point. You will be uh, fulfilling the requirements. So yeah, this was like a brief review or an overview. I don't know, like a showcase of um, the new 1.5 update. It's, gonna, it's coming. Uh, I'll tell you again, September 15. So in 10 days for now. So if you want to prepare something or if you want to level up a second account or something like that, uh, do it now because you still have some time. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. If you have other questions, comment below the video and see you next time.